Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch another beautiful day in the Missouri Ozarks. Sky is very clear. A little coolness to the air. I think it's supposed to be in the mid-60s today. And as you can tell, very bright sunny, but uh, it's, it's windy. It's a little windy, so I apologize if there's any wind noise. Uh, not a whole lot of stuff to report on that's really big and different other than gold and silver just keep skyrocketing. Gold has broke the 2400 mark. Said yesterday it was coming soon and it's up there. Uh, silver in the $29. Uh, yeah, that's it's. I'm, I could be wrong, but I think this spells trouble. Uh, oil's going up also, so so those three big things are, are on the rise, which usually means something's up. Iran, Israel, not, nothing yet. I mean, still this, you know, it's it's been days now. Oh, it's going to be an attack in the next 24 to 48 hours. That was like a week ago that they were saying that. They're still saying that. Um, you know, other things are, are, are the same, bad, but they're the same. There's still 10,000 people a day coming across the border. You know, the, the, the government's still trying to push their woke agenda. It's, it's all the same stuff. And it, it's, it's discouraging at times. It, it it's, it's sometimes leaves us as in this position of, will it just happen? Like, just hurry up and get it over with, Right. It's, it's like ripping a Band-Aid off. Just just get it over with is what a lot of us are kind of in the place right now. And then I, I get it because I, I, I'm there many times myself also. You know, most of us, and I, I think I can speak for most of you watching when I say this, that most of us, we just want to be left alone, right? We want to be left alone so that we can raise our families, worship God, read the Bible, teach our children, live a decent life. You know, most of us aren't asking to be billionaires. We, we just, we want to be able to afford what, we're, what we need. We know we have to work hard for it. And we want the freedom to do that. And we just, we just want to be left alone. And that's really the big problem nowadays is we're not being left alone. We're constantly being attacked for our beliefs. We're constantly being attacked because of how we raise our children. Our children are being attacked. Try to tell them and convince them of some kind of ridiculous far left woke ideas. Uh, our, our pocketbooks are being attacked through inflation and de-dollarization, uh, over debt spending, just absurd amounts of debt. A trillion dollars a quarter now. We're going into debt as a nation, which is just devaluing our currency more and more every day. Uh, wars all over the place, rumors of wars all over the place, uh, fear, panic, fake news, superstitions, conspiracy theories, all kinds of stuff are just just flooding everywhere. And all the while, the people that we elect to, to go and, and, and try to make the best decisions for us, they're stuck in this, this old rut. They, they continue this, this ridiculous fight that the political party is the solution or that a solution that they thought was going to work 20, 30 years ago will still work today. And, and still, you know, so many of these politicians are completely oblivious to the real issues that's plaguing this nation today. They're, they're just, they're, they're dead set on, well, we've got to improve this little taxation spending bill, or if we improve this little piece of legislation, or this or that, and completely avoiding a lot of the real issues that are destroying this country. It's depressing, and I'm not trying, I'm not saying that to try to depress you. I'm not saying that to try to, to get you down. I'm just saying it's, it's depressing when you look at it, when, when you see that this, this nation that was once a, a very great nation and had such amazing opportunities and that the people in this nation had had opportunities that that humans have never had you know a middle class person lived better than the wealthiest people that ever lived you know up until maybe 50 to 100 years ago hey, where else in the world the innovation the advancement uh, the, the lifestyle has been the best here in america than than anywhere else in history and, and what have we done with it? We've squandered it away. We've, we've, been, um, we, we've, we've been a poor use and a poor steward of the talents that were given us. And I think that is the thing that depresses most people. And, and it's, it's difficult, I'll admit. 
I mean, I, I'm no different than any of the rest of you. I, I'm not depressed as a person. I'm just saying, looking at the stuff that's going on, it's sad. It's sad and it's hard to get through. But we know that what is going on today, what is being pushed in the media, how the politicians behave, how our debt is just rising, and the, the, all of the stuff does not necessarily re represent you and I. In fact, that's probably part of the problem is we feel that no one really represents you and I. They represent the big business, they represent the political parties, they represent the, the woke left, the, the minorities, all of these other things. But you and I, we're, we're, not, we're not really represented anymore. No, no one really listens and cares about us. And in some ways, I think that that's okay. Because again, like I said, we just want to be left alone. We just want to be left alone. And that's why I think a lot of us choose this lifestyle. We, we realize, we recognize that the world is, is, is going down a slippery slope. Is it going to end tomorrow or next week or next month or even six months from now? Probably not, but it could. I mean, the way things are going, it, I wouldn't put it past it. It, it could, but it, it's probably not tomorrow that it's gonna happen. But I think it will happen soon and eventually and probably closer than, than most people realize. And even if it's not a complete hit rock bottom collapse, just in the last few years, we've lost so much. Things have gotten that bad. We've, how many people have lost their homes, and their jobs, and their health, and even their lives because of ridiculousness in the government and ridiculousness in society and in the world? So yeah, things are getting there. And I think that's why we live the way we do. That's why we... we, we pursue independence and self-sufficiency. It's why we, we, we prepare, because we recognize the things that are happening and we don't want to get caught up in it. We, we don't want to run off to the, to the government, uh, regardless of what level it is, local, state, or federal. We, we don't want their help. And so the options are is to perish because you have nothing, to run to the government to beg for it, or to just create it all on your own. And, and that, that's where most of us are. It's why we teach our children, many of us. It's why a lot of us raise our own food. It's why we have little communities, little, little circles of people. You know, when we live out like this, we have our neighbors that, that we're friends with and that we build relationships with and people in our area so that we can help each other out and barter and, 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 and have kind of our own little system going on. And it's all done because we want to be left alone and they're not leaving us alone and so we're doing the best we can to get away from it all and I know that there's many of you that are doing that but a lot that are wanting to do that and, and I'm here to tell you that it's still possible it's still possible I don't believe it's too late yet I, it's definitely gonna be harder you know if you had done this five or even ten years ago or even three years ago it, it might have been a little bit better I mean for, for instance, you know, land prices, real estate, while it's come down, it's, it's still high. It costs of everything is high right now. And so, yeah, it's going to be a lot harder to do it. But it, it's, still, it's still possible. And it may be the only way to get away from all of this. You know, getting stuck in a, in a place where there's just a lot of people. And when there's a lot of people, there's a lot of government. And when there's a lot of government, there's, there's a lot of control over those people. And, and when there's a lot of control, there's, there's <laughs> means that you're dependent upon them. And, and you don't have the, the, you don't have your own life in your own hands. You're, you're dependent upon whatever they say and whatever they do. And that's just not a good place to be now. And so, I, I know it's sad, I know it's, it's depressing, I know it, it, it brings up anger, and, and, and you're just sick and tired of it, and you just wish it would happen. Just, just get it over with. Well, I, I'm here to tell you, maybe you, just need to, maybe you just need to take the responsibility in your own hands and do something about it. Um, and if that's, if that's the extreme situation of packing up and moving to a different place, then maybe that's what needs to happen. 
I, that's, I know, that's a hard, big thing. No one likes to move. But maybe that's what needs to happen. Maybe it's you need to cut off a lot of stuff in your life and, and almost live like you're really poor so that you can put money away and pay things off. Uh, maybe you need to grow your own food, change your diet, eat healthy stuff. Stop eating all the processed, seed oil, poison-filled foods, bug-filled, bioengineered food out there. Just stop it. It, it it's, it's hard sometimes. It limits what you can eat unless you're buying it from farmers or raising it yourself. But it's going to improve your health. It's going to make you feel better, make you look better, make you healthier. There's a lot of things that we can do still. And it means that we're going to have to get up and do things. It means we're going to have to get off the couch. I heard someone once say that, you know, you say you can move mountains, but you, you have to get up off the couch to do that. And so we can talk all day long about what we are capable of or what we could do or what could happen. But nothing's going to happen as long as you're just sitting there. Nothing's going to happen as long as you're still in that talk phase. You got to get up and you got to do stuff. Get out and plant some food. Get out and know your neighbors. Get to know them. And maybe it's just get out of where you live. But regardless, the world is changing rapidly. And the nation is on a downward spiral. And all the talk and all the legislation and all the spending and all the uh, just trying to pay it, not pay attention to it isn't going to change it. It's, it's still going downhill. And if you want to still be left alone and, and still potentially have a good life, a life that you're in control of, you're going to have to get up and do something about it. You're going to have to change things. You're going to have to sacrifice some things. It's possible, but you can do it. It's time to get our houses in order, folks. It's time to prepare ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.